Ah, oh, this one is complete. Fossil hunting episode. So, are you seeing this today? This is the objective. So, let's get going. So, I guess some of you might asking yourselves why did the Jurassic take so much time without doing any fossil hunting video? Well, there's a couple of reasons. So, one of them is I have another project, so I'm doing some house renovations and in, in on the weekends and I'm doing by, by myself. So I don't have much time to, to do fossil hunting videos. And the other reason it's because I'm a little bit upset with the YouTube politics because now we have to, to well, they are doing some sort of KYC. We need to send all sorts of documents to them in order for for them process the taxes oh there's some sort of spider web in here so see and these are the 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 webs of a large spider so <laughs> so as i was saying so um they are uh, doing some sort of kyc and we need to submit all sorts of documents and i don't like that uh, especially because I don't live in the US well I'm getting closer to the spot so it's right over there so I need to cross all of this bush and it's on on the side of that eucalyptus over there I can pass this jungle over here uh, whoa uh, well. Yeah, I am. Okay, this place over here fell over. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, nothing in here. But this one. Mess. Oh, check this out. <laughs> okay, friends, check this out. And there's another stuff in there as well. Oh, check this out. Ah, uh, this is cool. So, let me take this out. Whoa. Okay, this is a little bit broken. I was making a hell of a party, but it's a, lit, a little bit messy whoa but you can clearly see the shape the round shape on this side over here but well this fell over here check this out this one uh, I don't sure if it is the it has the last spirals complete one two three mm, probably the last ones are not in here but well this is a nice surprise Wow. Okay, let me see if I can remove more stuff. Mm, this is very hard to do while recording. So I need to use both hands, friends. So be right back. So friends, I was uh, looking and looking, but the last spiral is not complete. But let me see if I can remove this. Oh. Ah. Oh well, on this side it's not very cool, but on this side it's a nice one. Sort of turtella or maybe some sort of gastropod. Uh, if the last spiral was in here, it was very cool, but it's not. So, 
still a nice addition. Well, let's continue. Okay. And what is this over here? Something. See? Oh. Oh, there's another gastropod. Oh, ho, ho. This one is squashed. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Broken again. But still cool. <laughs> Looks like. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Jokes aside, let's continue. Hey friends, I just found something a little bit bizarre. Check this out. Well, there is this bit over here. Let me see if the camera focus. Okay, see? This bit. I'm not sure if it's broken. And the other stuff has the shape of an ear. Well, not really know what what is this. Well guys, I am going to bring it home, but well, I guess I'm not going to have much luck with this. But if you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments. I really know, really would like to know. So, let's continue. So friends, this place is really a gold mine for fossils. So I was looking at this place around here, so at this, this uh, uh, cliff, if you can call it that. So, and I was looking at the ground, so to see if there is anything on the ground that might detach, be detached from the, the, the stop. And check this out. I still didn't uh, move it, but my guess is this is a large urchin. I probably am right, but I've been wrong in the past. So, let me see if it is or not. Ah, it is! Check this out. Well, it's very, very eroded. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there is this line where the spines were attached. So this needs to be washed in order to see the start pattern. And, well, I'm not sure if this is a micraster, but a nice sea urchin in here. So, so the urchin was in here and I look just a little bit to this side and check this out. This is a very, very, Tiny, tiny, tiny gastropod! Whee! Well, but... <laughs> Can you see it? Very tiny, but... So cool! Well... And there is another one in there! Check this out! Just right here, there's another in here as well. Okay, two. For the price of one. <laughs> I'm going to put this next to the the urchin so okay then i have to bag it and what else we have oh check this out there is something cool over here as well oh this is another gastropod oh but this one is broken also the last spirals are missing there's a lot of this around here this species Okay, very cool, very, very cool. Okay, now I have to put this in the bag. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing something. Let me. So friends, check this out, so I guess this, oh not really, oh what the hell is this, whoa, 
What is this? There's a beak. What is this? Oh. Well, this is scary. <laughs> well, this is a bit scary, but I think this is a, a junction of two fossils. This is probably a piece of of Cuculea gigantea, and I'm not sure what happened on this side, but it almost looks like it fused. Wow, there's a large insect. Okay, it's gone now. But it almost looks like they are fused together and we have a I guess this is some sort of a suture line well this this is going home with me because it's too interest too interesting so I'm going to put it over here so what else do we have here so I take out my gloves take off my gloves sorry about my bad English but what else it's in here Get some sort of a kukule as well. I need to get up. Hey friends, check out this one. Ho oh, oh. ho, this is a large alien egg. <laughs> Still pretty much in the matrix. Whoa, what's that over there? Uh, oh, this one is complete. Okay, okay, uh, let me see if this focus, oh this one is nice, real cool, so very hard to, to find one complete in here, okay, this is a gold mine for fossils, that's for sure. So friends, this is turning uh, to be a movie without almost without no sightseeing but but anyways so here I am looking at the cliff again and well I could almost bet with you that something is in here see this is way too round and there is an, another stuff in here as well I guess probably not huh. okay but as I was saying, there's oh, there's a gastropod in here. Ho oh, 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 ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho! Check this out. Check this out. There's another gastropod in here, and it's right in here, looking at me. Yeah. Whoa. Nice one. Nice gastropod. Wee 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 wee. Okay. Hey <laughs> hey. Well, I still didn't find one of these species today, so this is the first one. I hope of many. So let's see what is in here. So anyways, like I was saying, so my guess is, well, this is the region of the Kukulea. So my guess is this is the Kukulea as well. But ah, I was wrong in the past. Something is beating me. Ah. Looks like I'm in the, in the Amazon. You don't even imagine what I have to dig in the middle of all, all of this bush in order to be in here. So let's see. Okay. 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 I'm doing this. Trying to do this with care. Not really know what is it there. Okay. Oh. oh, guys, I need to use both hands. Sorry. It's difficult for me to excavate like that. Probably that was 
is a shell as well. Mm. Let's see. Mm, doesn't look like. I guess this is a Kukulele Gigantia. Broken pieces of shelf again. And there is something biting me in my leg. Ah. Oh god, it broke. But it was just a piece again. Ah. Nice try. Well, let's continue. But check this out. Sometimes the smaller things are the coolest. Check this out. I still didn't move it. Well, these. I don't know what this is, see, and it still is in the spot, so on this side, I don't know, maybe uh, an urchin or something like that, I'm going to take a picture and then I'm going to remove it, so check this out, what could this be? It's very heavy also. Round with some markings. Looks like a marble. What? Guys, if you know what this is, please let me know it. Let me know in the comments. Well, my guess is a sea urchin, but I don't see the the pattern, the star pattern. See? Well, and there is another tiny gastropod in here as well. Well, this is more like a Turritella. So, pretty cool finds. Oh, there is something as well in there. This is another. Another bivalve. Well, this is a gold mine in here. Old mine for fossils, haha. <laughs> okay, there are signs of an oyster in here. Okay, this is a, a little bit different from the spot that I was. I have a lot of this, but I'm seeing very cool signs in here, so I'm going to excavate a little bit to see what I can find in here. So friends, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned because now it seems that it's going to rain again and it's hot, real hot in here so it's kind of tropical weather but I really need to show you this guys so this is pretty cool there is a lot of stuff in here so there's a nice uh, I guess this is a nice uh, okay sort of bivalve this is another shell of bivalve and whoa whoa check this out take a look at this take a look at this my friends check this out you know what this is you know what this is this is the gastropod sorry for my excitement but whoa let me see if this is complete or not if there's the spirals ah. whoa well it's a nice one, but uh, not sure if it is, well, it's not the best ones that I have, but nice, nice gastropod. Okay, the top 
has seen signs of erosion but on this side it's more or less clean so nice nice gastropod you know that I am crazy for gastropods yeah yeah okay now let me see the other stuff that I was pointing out so this is a shell okay cool okay and this oh, okay. I need my my tools ah okay Oh, it fell down, it fell way over there in the middle of all of that bush and I'm not going to get it because that ivy over there stings a lot and I know that it was a, a bivalve so I have plenty of them if it was a gastropod maybe I reconsidered but hmm, a shell no it's not really worth it at least for me there's bugs everywhere in here so I have to be careful because in the springtime and there's a lot of ticks so I kind of remove all of the stuff that was okay what's this well what's what's this over here oh it's another oh this is this is just another oh another sea urchin ha <laughs> ha I have two today, but very, very eroded. You almost cannot see anything, but this is definitely a sea urchin. Okay, I'm going to take this home, wash it, and then we'll see what we get. Yeah! So, this is real, real strange. So, I was looking at this rock and almost so friends this is whoa, whoa whoa i'm going to fall over so this is a real strange one because i keep finding these uh, uh fossils but this one over here this one is different from the others the others that i found are smooth and have the surface real uh, smooth but this one this one shows signs of i guess suture lines you might say suture lines or maybe i am imagining stuff but you can clearly see that are some lines over there it almost looks like some sort of a shell but not really sure so this is still pretty much incarcerated in this rock i'm not sure if i'm going to leave it or bring it along but this is some pretty massive weight so <sighs> Well, I guess I will try to remove it the best as I can and bring it along to see what could this be. So friends, welcome back once again to my place. So this is my little fossil collection. But today I just want to show you the fossils that we found uh, during this fossil hunting video. Well, most of them are still outside drying and some of them are very large, but these ones were were the special ones, the ones that that I uh, thought it would be nice to show you to you guys. So if you remember that strange uh, looking rock that I said that had these suture lines. So this is an exogyra, so nothing special. The only thing special about it is that the, the lines, the lines, the shell uh, managed to group itself in lines and gives that uh, odd looking uh, shape that looks like some sort of ammonite or nautiloid but this is an exogyra so I have a couple of them right in there let me see if I can show you to you guys so this one well this one is very very polished but I guess it's sort of like that so this one still misses a lot of the shell in the top but it doesn't have that that uh, that natural looking and if you look carefully you can still see some some holes made by erosion or some sort of bugs that try to eat through the shell in order to to eat the organism still looking cool and the other ones that I found well it was this one that I thought it was was scary and it was a big but not a little bit but it looks like some sort of a mouth but it's not like that so this is the, just a piece of bivalve it's still missing this other part 
and later I found this other one that is in here and you can clearly see the resemblance so it, it, it is this part that you saw on this fossil so this is a larger bivalve so as you can see I don't know, really know if this was part of another one of, or if this is just like that but I found this I'm not sure if I'm going to put the video on YouTube but I found this uh, laying around oh it's still uh, muddy on this side so I have to clean this a little bit better so these were the larger ones so this is one of the largest ones that I found so you can clearly see the the beak over here so I have another one in my collection that is still Cuculea gigantea so it, as you can clearly see so the resemblance but this one I'm not sure if this is the same species but the the beak or this this bit over here it's very much alike of this other one that is in there so this is an alien egg Woo! and I have a couple of them in here very large uh, I guess the name of the species is Cuculea gigantea, if I if I'm quoting right. But let's get to the smaller ones. So these were the gastropods that I found. So this one is pretty nice. It's going to make a nice addition to my collection. And this one is still a little bit wet, but the tip. It almost looks like some sort of a turbine <laughs> see real cool and I have a couple of them uh, as well uh, scattered around in this tray oh it there it is the little one that I oh let me see the camera focus okay this was the little one that I found so very nice as well and I found some gastropods uh, different ones but this one jokes aside <laughs> I have a couple of them, but it's very hard to find the ones, the, the last bottles, because they are more fragile and they tend to break a lot. But I have a couple of specimens. Uh, where are they? So I guess, I guess uh, right over there in that bottom. Uh, I don't remember the name because I, I need to put papers on this in order to know the name of the species because sometimes I keep forgetting the, the names of the species and I have a lot of different species of gastropods and bivalves that I need to classify and lazy, lazy me. Okay, but continue with the, with the findings. So these were the sea urchins. So now they are a little bit more clean, but well, you cannot see very well the, the star pattern, but you can clearly see some lines. They are kind of resemblance to these ones that I have in here. But these ones, well, these are not the same species. Maybe, maybe, maybe ju just that one that is over there. Let me pick it up for you guys to have in compare. compare. So this one, uh, probably the same species. Uh, mm, this one you can clearly see the 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 little holes the tiny microscopic holes where the spines were attached this one not very well but you can clearly see that it is a sea urchin as well and this one is very eroded you can see some cracks so the shell was starting to get apart like a, a an egg but well, I still bring it along with me and well, it's still more or less cool, but still very, very uh, eroded by the time. But I think it's a nice addition to my collection as well. So guys, for today, this is about it. So don't forget, if you like the video, to put a like and subscribe. It will help me a lot and we'll see you on the next movie. Bye. Yeah.